Well, it looks like we're once again on the Division 2 Player Power Fantasy Merry-Go-Round. A new season goes live, a new talent drops, it makes our agents crazy powerful, we all love it. We start tearing DC a new one, and then the nerf police crash through the door, and the party's over. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, this one right here, this discussion is one we have had a million times since the Division first launched. Players find something that makes them kick ass. Massive sees that we're kicking way too much ass, and the ass-kicking ownage is quickly quelled. Say that three times fast. Our player power fantasy hopes are crushed, and we are once again reduced to getting shredded by red bars, wearing garbage bags and duct tape, despite having 1.5 million armor on our characters. Sound familiar? Okay, so this latest chapter of uber drama swirling around the Division 2 is all squarely focused at a weapon talent. Players figured out how to use and abuse it, and of course, Massive is going to swoop in and take that away from us. Uh, by the way, quick disclaimer before I get into all of this, I'm doing this completely unscripted just off the top of my head. I have some notes here, so if I stammer, stutter, leave something out, please forgive me. So the weapon talent is completely under the microscope right now and is going to be severely hit. The next plan TU, which is TU 17.2, is determined. You could find this on the named G28 Relic Marksman Rifle. I believe you could also find it on pistols and rifles, but it was specific to those three. It could only be pistols, rifles, or marksman rifles. Let me actually read you the determined weapon talent text itself. After killing an enemy with a headshot, the weapon damage the next shot landed on an enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. So, what happened? Players figured out that if they stacked heavy, heavy, heavy into headshot damage on a marksman rifle centric build, which TU-17, this current season, season 11, is, they're pushing marksman rifles. Anyway, they figured out if you stacked heavy into headshot damage, and then you paired up determined, which is on the weapon, with a chain killer equipped build so either chain killer or perfect chain killer on the chest piece you could essentially get this thing up and rolling by getting a kill and landing a headshot uh, and then all you had to do is hit body shots and you would actually i guess fool the game into thinking hey i'm hitting determined i'm hitting chain killer body shots the game's thinking hey they just hit a headshot because it's a guaranteed headshot as part of the weapon talent and you could, once this thing was up and running, just land body shots and get one-shot kills. It was awesome. I tried it out. Uh, I tend to have pretty good accuracy, so I was, I was aiming for headshots. But damn, I mean, you could just aim for the body. You could shoot them straight in the ass if they ran away from you. And one-tap pretty much anything that was in your general vicinity. And I know this was of particular interest with console players that struggle maybe a little bit with accuracy on the sticks. I mean, hell, even on PC, we struggle sometimes. So it was very forgiving and it made us very, very, very powerful. Once again, we were way past the thresholds that we were supposed to be for player power fantasy in the Division 2. And true to form, Massive already has a fix ready for TU 17.2. Now showing up on your screens, it says gear landing a killing body shop empowered by the determined weapon talent or its perfect version will refresh the talent there is no description here i assume they're just going to go in and change it now was it working as intended absolutely not was it fun as hell to use absolutely yes uh so what do i see them doing with this they're probably going to have you alternate back and forth you get the killing shot or the head shot, then you can land a body shot, and then you have to alternate back and get that, I guess, second killing head shot, body shot, so on and so forth. So it isn't just get this thing up and running with a killing blow to a head shot and then just land body shot after body shot after body shot. Again, I'm sad to see it go. I used it once or twice. It was, you know, fairly interesting. It's not something I would normally do. I'm not a big sniper, you know, it, I don't enjoy sniping so much in the Division 2, but I could definitely see where you could have some fun with this thing. And this is probably a perfect time to transition over to this next part of this commentary because, I mean, I could spend the next five minutes rambling on about how I do not feel massive should be adjusting determined. Players are 
enjoying the player power fantasy. We're finally on par with the NPCs that we're taking on. We can finally one-shot them, whereas they've been one-shotting us for the last three years. Let players enjoy the ride, man. I, I don't think that Massive should be spending time and resources and manpower to get something as trivial as this adjusted when we have much more pressing issues such as PC stability, console stability. Um, just off the top of my head, there's still players out there that have not received their compensation caches. There's still players out there that were uh, hit with the Empress International missing now the, the core attribute on the named, I think it's the Caesar's Guard chess piece. I mean, hell, even just recently, the Sacred Imperium, you can't scope up to it to proc the weapon talent. I think all of these should be taking a, a much more front and center attention with Massive over Determined. But using this latest drama with Determined, it kind of got the gears in my brain spinning again. And I started taking down and jotting down a bunch of notes about previous items, weapons, talents, uh, perks that were in the game that I remember because I've been playing it since launch that have been greatly reduced i.e. nerfed or just completely removed from the game and I'm just going to start rambling these off and if any of these strike a chord with you leave me a comment down below. Let's start off with the most obvious one the Eagle Bearer. Ooh. Not only was the weapon talent just completely changed around, but they also reduced the base damage. You know, hindsight 2020, looking back at it, they probably could have just reduced the base damage. It needed to be on par with the P416, which it shared the chassis with. But that complete rework of the weapon talent really affected a lot of players. How about this one? The backpack for the Aces and Eights gear set used to award amp damage. They took that away. Specialized weapons in general, I used to enjoy those things. Pulling out the TAC-50 or the grenade launcher and just owning NPCs. Ever since Gear 2.0 hit with Woni, they've been pretty much just backpack candy. General Anderson Exotic Farm, gone, currently not working. General Anderson XP Farm, gone, completely modified. Summit Floor 10 XP Farm, completely taken out of the picture. Does anyone remember this one? The M1A went back and forth. It used to be the meta weapon, and then they just stealthily nerfed it, and then they came back in, and it's it just went through a whole series of changes because it provided too much power too quickly to players. Strikers used to award amp damage. How about the Heartbreaker gear set? Remember when it came out, and then they hit it with a heavy nerf? I think it was 50%. 50% of the damage was taken away, or 40%, something like that. It was crazy. Shields in PvP, I know they were nerfed a while ago, but in PvE, it's crazy when your shield breaks. It's like all of a sudden you're tripping on LSD. You're looking at the sky, you're looking at the floor, and it takes you a good three, four, five seconds to actually come out of this disrupt. I mean, it's just nuts. And since I've been playing the game since launch, I remember when both the Chatterbox and the Nemesis had certain aspects of their attributes nerfed. I remember back in 2020, I remember specifically that status effects received a diminishing return mechanic. Why? Because we had figured out that if one player ran into a legendary mission using a jammer pulse, we could constantly just keep jamming the white tusk and we could get more on par with them. Massive saw that. They saw that we were continually just jamming their tech, essentially just turning it into a gunfight. They said, <laughs> we can't have that. And they came in with diminishing returns. That was early 2020. Here's an old school one for all you OGs out there. Remember when the Merciless used to be a badass weapon? Yeah, that one got completely reworked and crushed. How about the three meta gear pieces? Contractor's gloves, Fox's prayer knee pads, Y'all Hollow Man Mask, those used to have higher core attributes, or not core attributes, but attributes. Damage to targets out of cover was higher. A damage to Arvor was higher. Damage to health was higher. All three of those got hit. More recently, and I received this actually from a friend of mine, the Imperial Dynasty Holster. If you've been playing the Division 2 since launch, you OGs out there probably remember when damage to elites was something that we used to try to stack onto our gear sets. Yeah, that's gone. And here's one that I actually managed to grab a clip on. This was the old hardwired version 1.0 with feedback loop, which used to just completely refresh your skills instantly on kill. Check this out. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sons forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus.
kind of dramatic there when you got the chameleon dropping on the ground, but you can see that a lot of things have been changed in this game. And why is that? Why are they changed so quickly? Because they provide the players too much power. So again, and I'm kind of wrapping this up here, I, I'm a little surprised that people are so shocked that Massive would come in this quickly and change something like Determined. I mean, Determined's just the example we have right now, but that Massive would come in and change something that allows us to exceed what they consider the norms for power deltas. Something that really enriches our player power fantasy, but on their side shows that we're allowed to steamroll through content too quickly. Why are people so surprised? Why are they shocked that Massive would do this? Because this has been their MO with this franchise since it launched. Do I agree with these heavy-handed changes Massive makes anytime we kind of exceed what they consider the norms for power deltas and we really start to get these awesome player power fantasies going in the live game? <laughs> Absolutely not. I enjoy these things. I enjoyed Hardwired 1.0. I enjoyed Eagle Bearer version 1. I loved it when I could just jam the White Tusk and actually slap them on the ass for once in a legendary mission. I loved all those things. So for me, seeing Determined all of a sudden with a nerf incoming, it's no surprise. Do I agree with it? Absolutely not. Anyways, I threw a lot at you today. And as always, I look forward to reading your feedback in the comments section below. Let me know if any of those blasts from the past nerfs struck a chord with you. Remember to smash that big, beautiful subscribe button and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. If you could take a few seconds more to rate and or share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Remember, you can find and follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and in my open community Discord server, links to all of which can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Before I go, I want to throw a huge shout out out there to the over 114,000 of you that have taken that leap and smashed that sub button. And as always, a huge thank you to the Buzz Battalion patrons over on Patreon. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.